Today, we're diving into the world of startups, comparing the landscapes in Pakistan and India. Creating and maintaining a startup is no easy feat, but how does it differ between these two nations? Let's find out. Pakistan, despite its potential, faces numerous challenges for startups. From a lack of capital to limited opportunities and expertise, the journey of entrepreneurship in Pakistan is a rocky road. Did you know that 9 out of 10 new companies fail in Pakistan? It's a staggering statistic that sheds light on the uphill battle entrepreneurs face. Now, let's turn our attention to India. Startup India offers a variety of services, from financial assistance to marketing support. The Indian government recognizes and rewards startups through national startup honors, fostering an environment conducive to innovation and growth. While challenges still exist, India's startup ecosystem seems more supportive compared to Pakistan. So, why do startups fail in Pakistan? One major reason is the lack of thinking big. Many entrepreneurs lack the vision for billion-dollar concepts, limiting their potential for growth. Additionally, the funding landscape can be a curse. While some startups secure initial investments, the subsequent rounds become challenging due to restrictive terms imposed by investors. Another pitfall for Pakistani startups is the tendency to copy successful models without understanding the underlying principles. This copycat mentality often leads to failure, as success in one market doesn't guarantee success elsewhere. Instead of replicating, entrepreneurs should focus on addressing real issues with innovative solutions. It's crucial for Pakistani entrepreneurs to learn from past mistakes and adapt. Take the case of ride-hailing apps like Uber and Kareem. While Uber succeeded by addressing a genuine need, local imitations failed due to lack of vision and differentiation. The key takeaway here is to have a clear vision and focus on solving real problems. To succeed in the startup world, entrepreneurs need to remain focused, specialize in their niche, choose the right location, and prioritize effective management. These principles may seem straightforward, but they're often overlooked and can make or break a startup. In conclusion, the startup journey in Pakistan is riddled with challenges, but there's also immense potential for growth and innovation. By learning from past mistakes, fostering creativity, and focusing on addressing real problems, Pakistani startups can carve their path to success. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on entrepreneurship and innovation. Until next time, stay inspired and keep hustling.